Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan. And today we are going to add advanced custom field in single product page in WooCommerce WordPress using plugin. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are going to add custom field using ACF plugin. So we are in shop page. Now go to dashboard. So scroll down on left side you see plugin so click on add new so we are going to install plugin then in search plugin write advanced custom field so this is plugin advanced custom field ACF we will use so click on install now then click on activate it now plugin is activated and scroll down on left side you see ACF so click on it so we are going to create custom field and we will show custom field in single product page. Now you see field group. So click on add new. Then you see add new field group. So you can add name according to requirement. So I added name custom product field. And scroll down. You see field. So you can add field according to requirement. Now you see label, name, type. No label. And then you see general validation presentation. And then you see conditional logic. Now we are in general. And then you see field type. Now drop down. And then you see multiple field. Also you see browse field. So click on it. Now you see select field type. You can search also. And then you see basic content choice relational advance. So you can add field according to requirement. Now first we are going to add text field. Now select. And then you see field label. So you can add name according to requirement. So we are going to add field label. Product. Brand. And when we click. Now you see field name. Auto generated. So this field name we are going to use in custom code. And if you want you can set default value. Now click on add field again. And then you see text drop down. So you can select according to your requirement. Now you see checkbox. Now select. Now you see field label, field name choices. So we are going to add product color. Again click. Now you see field name created. And then choices. Enter each choice on a new line. Black, white. So this is our choices. And if you want, you can set default value, return value, label, both array. So value. Now scroll up. You see validation. So click on it. If you want, you can make it required. So it's up to you. And then you see allow custom value. So click on it. And you see save custom value. So it's up to you and then you see presentation. If you want you can add some instruction. And then you see conditional logic. So click on it. Now enable. Now you see show this field if product brand has any value. So you can create conditional logic according to requirement. Now you see we have two field product brand product color. So disable this. So we added two fields. If you want, you can add more fields. Now you see add field, rows field, and then you see true, false, select. Now cancel. Also delete this. Now scroll down, close field, and then you see delete. So click on it. Are you sure? Yes. So currently we have two fields and then you see setting rules. Show this field group if post type is equal to and then you see drop down. Now select post type. Now select post type is equal to drop down. Now select product. If you want you can add more rules but this field we are going to show in product pages. Now you see presentation, you see multiple option and then you see group setting. 
now click on save changes now setting saved and then you see label also you see name product underscore brand product underscore color so we will use this name in custom code to display custom field in product pages now go to shop page open any product then click on edit product now edit product open and scroll down now you see custom product field product brand product color now you see multiple choice option so you will see custom product field on all product pages in woocommerce wordpress by using acf plugin so we are going to add some data but this content not show until we are going to add custom code with name field so we are going to add product brand web task and then product color black and then click on update now product updated done open product again now open it but in product page you don't see any custom field data we added in edit product now you see so that's why we are going to add custom code on left side you see plugin so click on add new so we are going to install plugin to add some custom code then in search plugin write wp code so this is plugin wp code insert adder and footer we will use so you will install this plugin and activate it and after the activation on left side you see code snippet then you see add snippet so click on it then you see add your custom code so again click on it now create custom snippet section open scroll down you can add title here then you see code per view on right side you see code type drop down select php snippet now we are going to paste code and you will find code in video description or in comment section so in code we are going to add name field now in code you see who come the single product summary and then you see this is our function name now you see and then you see custom text now go to product field acf plugin now you see product brand also you see name now copy product brand product underscore brand copy this back to code now paste here now you see and also paste here now you see div class so you can customize text by using this class so currently we added one field product brand now scroll down you see insert method auto insert location run everywhere on top you see inactive now active and then click on save snippet so currently we are going to add one field now snippet created and saved go to product page and refresh the page now you see product brand web task back to code so we are going to add another field now scroll up you see product color now back to code now copy this again and now paste now back to field now copy product underscore color back to code now paste here so we added product underscore brand and we added product underscore color now you see diff class so we added cg iphone custom css1 because if you want you can customize or change design according to your requirement by using this class and you will find this code in video description or in comment section and then click on update now you see snippet updated back to product page and refresh the page now you see both custom field web task and then you see product color black back to code now in code we added name field product brand and then you see product color so when we copy this code so in next code we remove php starting point now you see if if you want to add more field just copy this and then paste now you see another if so you can add name field according to your requirement and then you see class cg iphone custom css102 and then you can design or customize 
by using this class so you can add more than one field now remove this and you will find this code in video description or in comment section now click on update again now go to shop page again open another product and then click on edit product now edit product open and scroll down you see custom product field now select white and then click on update now product updated done now view product now in product you see white so this is a multiple choice option back to code now scroll up you see this is our woocommerce hook position go to product page now you see our custom field show above title if you want to change position back to code now change number here like 15 and then click on update now you see snippet updated done go to product page and refresh the page so currently show above title now you see our custom field show below rating so you can change number according to your requirement if you want you can show above title below title with price so in this way you can create acf field so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching